Okay, so this is going to demo the rivet command, which is found in the menu under constrain rivet. Now under the hood, the rivet command is going to create a UV pin node, but the UV pin node has a lot of options and the rivet command is meant to simplify it so that you don't have to think uh, about wh what options you want. So an animator can just attach um, something to a deforming uh, piece of geometry. So. Here's Finn, he's in his uh, typical T-pose, and I can show you that he has motion. So here we can see his run cycle as he's running around. So what we'd like to do is we have a jetpack, and we want to attach Finn's jetpack to his back. We want to follow his back, not his spine necessarily. So we're going to have this rigidly follow a point on his back. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and come in here and we will select a point right in the middle of Sven's back, right here. And I'll come up here, I'll say constrain and click on rivet. Now you'll notice there's a locator sitting right in the middle of his back. And as he runs, that locator sticks with him. Okay. Um, so then what we can do is we want to have the backpack follow that locator. So I'm going to take Sven and just to line him up with the backpack, I'm going to turn off his deformation so that now that they're lined back up. And now I can take the jetpack and I can just parent it into that new pin output. So now when I turn Sven's deformation back on, we see that the jetpack follows it. So now what we have is we have a jetpack prop that is following Sven's back. And this is a really quick, fast way of, of doing this. But we'll have in the node editor, if we grab this pin output, we can see that the pin output is using that UV pin node under the hood. And it requires the original shape and the current shape to understand how it's supposed to bind. Now what's nice about this is you still have all the functionality of the UV, UV pin. So if you need to edit the UV pin, you can come in here and we can do things and say like, okay, right now the normal axis is X. It's this X axis here. So right now the, the, the normal is X. We have Y and, and Z going this way. But if I come to this UV pin, I can switch the normal axis to be Y. And you can see it rotated that 90 degrees. I can change the alignment of this to be X. So. This is a very procedural control that lets you adjust things on the fly. Also, the, the UV coordinate that it's following could be updated, and all that's handled by the UV pin node. The other nice thing about the rivet command is if you chose to, you could come into a deforming area and you could select multiple vertices. And if I go to constraint and I click rivet, you will see that it created locators at every vert location. And then if we take that and we map it, you'll also see that this UV pin node is actually being used over and over again. We'll do it this way. So you can see that it takes in one geometry but that it spits out multiple matrices to drive all of these pins. And you can also see over here that all the UV coordinates are present. So you can update all of these with one set of settings. Uh, so that's the power of the UV pin node, but it's wrapped up cleanly in the rivet command.